Today we are reviewing blenders. Two blenders. Two blenders. What are these blenders? This is the Beast Blender. Mm. You get this model, just like basic blender model. It's 150. Mm. This is the Breville, I believe it's called Fast and Furious Blender. Oh. This is 199.99. Let me get this out of the way. I used to work for a blender company. Mm -hmm. I won't name names, but a lot of you know who they are. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. Uh, so I know a lot about blenders. So let me give you a little basic knowledge. So there are two styles of blenders. There's the enclosed one, and then there's the pitcher one. So mm. when it's this style, which is very common for Nutribullet, Ninja, and Beast, that means it's enclosed. There's nowhere for air to escape. So you can't blend hot things or carbonated things because they can explode. But what's the, what's the benefit of having an enclosed blender? It blends really fast. Right. It's smaller, it's more compact. Right. It fits on a countertop better. It's great for a single person making single servings. So honestly, you know a lot about blenders as well. I do. Learning. And then what about this one? This has the pitcher. Mm -hmm. It has this spot here where you can open it up for air to come out. Mm -hmm. So you can blend hot, you can blend carbonated All in right. a pitcher style. Another thing to note when you're shopping for a blender is the wattage is very important depending mm. on what you want to use your blender for. I would say 99% of people buying a blender are buying it to make smoothies, right. which usually incorporates frozen fruits and veggies or ice. So you want a wattage minimum of 600. I think 800 and up, it all kind of does the same. Once you get above like 1200, it is like liquid, like mm -hmm. very liquidy. Mm -hmm. This blender is 1100 watts. This one is a thousand watts. I think mm -hmm. that's great. So really we're, we're, we're comparing two different types of blenders and the yes. price point is similar enough that it's not really about like one's low, one's high. So we are going to blend a smoothie, my favorite smoothie recipe. Mm -hmm. Again, I worked for a blender company. We tested a lot of smoothies. This was like the office favorite mm -hmm. where I worked. And then we are going to make a cocktail. We're gonna make a Dirty Shirley slushy mm -hmm. because Dirty Shirley was named, I think by Bon Appetit as like the summer drink of 2022. So we're gonna mm -hmm. make a slushy version. I found the recipe on, I think it's tipsybartender.com. We're gonna try those two things. Yeah, that sounds great, let's do it. Now we're gonna make my favorite go-to smoothie recipe. Starting off with spinach, uh, smoothies are a great way to get your greens in without being able to like taste them, especially mm -hmm. if you're a picky eater or not really getting your quota of greens. Just, I do a handful. And I start with the greens, so I'll just stuff them in there. And I'm gonna make the same one in each blender. Then, okay, he is frozen bananas. Mm. Cut them up, freeze them, and then this acts as your ice. It makes your smoothie cold. It's very creamy then, so it's perfect. So depending on how many people you're making a smoothie for, I do about half a banana per person. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do two of these little chunks in each one. Then we got our bloobs. Bloobs. So I just kind of do however Bunch. many the heart desires. I don't measure anything. Let's neither, just neither finish this I. bag. And then you add your like powder. So if you want to mm. put protein powder, a lot of times Maddie adds protein powder to his. I love cinnamon. It gives it a nice taste and it's also, I think it's, is it anti-inflammatory, I think? I don't know. I used to know these things. And I try to get it centered because mm. if it goes to the edges, it's harder to clean off. Mm. And then you can do the butter of your choice. So you can do a nut butter if you're allergic to nuts. You could do sunflower seed or you could skip it entirely. But this makes it creamy. It's like healthy fats. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Maddie loves the peanut butter. I love cashew butter. Is that enough peanut butter? Yeah. Cool. And then... The last step is your liquid and you want to put enough liquid so the blender isn't struggling, but on these especially, you'll see any kind of vessel like this, like an enclosed blender has a max line. You don't want to exceed the max line. If you stuff too much in here, it can explode. Mm -hmm. So be mindful of that. It doesn't matter as much in an open pitcher and you can use any liquid you like. You can use water, you can use oat milk, you can use cashew milk, you can use coconut water, whatever you like. I like oat milk, so we're gonna use oat milk. I mean, really like the more water, the more smooth 
or more liquid, the more smooth it'll be. Yeah. This I noticed has a green smoothie option and just a smoothie option. I'm guessing we're just gonna put smoothie. You're just gonna hit smoothie. How weird. Green smoothie. It's like they needed another button, smoothie. so they were like. Green smoothie. Green smoothie. And this has one button, right? I just gotta yeah. press this. All right, are we ready to go? Which one is smoothie? Oh, here. Is it gonna go? I can tell you right now, I can see like larger little flecks of spinach that aren't all the way blended because mm -hmm. this is a larger vessel. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one, I'm like, this is gonna be completely smooth with no flecks of spinach. And I think it's just like, if we had stuffed this more, probably wouldn't have that on the sides, but I can see that. Very smooth. I think I got more blueberries than this one. It's a little darker than yours. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's, this is the perfect smoothie. Don't drink it all. I was going to swab so okay, we can cool. see. That's good. I mean, they're going to taste a little different because this one has peanut butter. So the Beast was is definitely like smoother. It's just more like drinkable. And then the Breville one's a little chunkier. I mean, it's still smooth. It and I'm, smooth. I'm not getting like chunks of spinach. You can just see kind of like flex of it on the side of the yeah. picture. I would say this kind of appliance is better if you're making, if you have a family, if you have a partner, you wanna make bigger batches, mm -hmm. or you also wanna use it to make, you soup. know, hummus, soup, whatever. Yeah, which I'm in, favor, I'm in favor of. And also I think it's still pretty. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> We're making a Dirty Shirley slushy, mm. which is a recipe I found from Tipsy Bartender online. They said to freeze your Sprite. Don't do it in the can, the can will explode. I should have used this logic when I filled this ice tray because it also expanded mm -hmm. and is all over our freezer now. So don't fill them to the top like I did. Not to the tippity top. They look awful. Well, because there's probably so much air. Look yeah. Okay, and then I'm not really sure how much of the Tito's to use either. Or vodka? Probably. Oh, don't we have a jigger? This jigger is what, like half an ounce? I think it's three like... ounces on the recipe. I think. Okay. There's also grenadine in a dirty Shirley, so we can add some of that. It is a little more. It's a little more vodka. You know, same. You know, this is gonna be hard. It's just gonna like. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You can do some. How's it smell? It smells good. It smells like Sprite. This one definitely seems a lot smoother than yours over there. Well, it's a little icy. Cheers. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, a little too much vodka on this one. Here, let's switch. They both taste pretty much identical. This is a tasty summer beverage. This is good. I'm kind of getting a brain freeze already. Mm -hmm. Can I try one variation? Can we just like, as like one final test? Cause I'm thinking like with some more Sprite, this would like be over the top, but let's uh -huh. try it in this one, but okay. Some Sprite, I feel like half a can in here. We do like You should have put that ice. first cause then it's like, Well, you do your liquids last. Okay, well I'm gonna put some more of the ice cubes in here. One. Thing of like that, like vodka, like that. Put like three cherries. Here you can have this oh, one too. Oh yeah, put I'm it done. in there. Put it in there. Put it in there. Put it in there. Auto pulse cr ice crush. Let's try the auto. There's an auto pulse ice crush mode. Let's try that one. You gotta turn it on. Oh, turn it on. Oh. That's more slushy consistency. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good. That looks good. All right, cool. That's incredible. That is like a thousand times better than what we just had. That yeah. is like so much better. Oh, this is so, so I think that cherry, the, the cherries, cherries really yes. set it off. Like I would drink this. I don't like sweet drinks, but like I would drink this. This is very good. That is honestly really saying something. Yeah. This is very good. You can have the rest. I think both blenders performed well did their blender duty as well. Mm -hmm. I like the Beast. The ridging inside makes it slightly more difficult to clean. Not a deal breaker in my opinion. It really just has the one mode. There aren't different modes, but I don't think you need it for making smoothies. $150, there are less expensive options. You can get a neutral bullet for like, I wanna say 50. Yeah. Same with Ninja. Um, so I would just get whichever one speaks to you mm -hmm. if you're looking for this kind of style. If you're looking for a style with a pitcher, 
Uh, Nutribullet and Ninja also make that style, probably around the same kind of price point, maybe a little more cost effective than this Breville one. I would also look for ones that are over 800 watts. Mm -hmm. You don't need a ton of buttons. They're all kind of doing the same thing at right. different variations. So honestly, which one's your favorite? If we are going to have smoothies, mm -hmm. you and I both, mm -hmm. I will use this one because I was trying to use this one and mm -hmm. I was like stuffing it to the brim, which again, you should not really do. Yeah. And it, it wasn't yielding enough. So mm -hmm. I'll use this one. If you're out of town, I'm making a smoothie for myself. I'll use this one. Or oh, we're keeping both, it sounds like. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you for joining us for episode five. If you've missed any of the other episodes, go give them a watch. If you really want reviews for something, let us know in the comments. We are happy to provide that for you. Follow me at Ashley Hosmer. Follow Spoke at Spoke. Tag us in your cocktails. Bye.